Hello, fourth year. How are you today? I hope you are happy. I hope you are fine. I hope you are relaxed. Today is uh, Thursday, the 6th of August. It's a sunny and hot day. We are going to check pages from the Quadernillo 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and the reading on page 104. We are going to hand in composition number three from the list. Today we start unit nine. Yes, shopping vocabulary. Remember, all the new vocabulary must be written plus one example plus the name of the unit in your cuaderno from the la a la z. We are going to revise passive voice, articles, quantifiers, and we are going to work on pages 100, from 105 to 109 from the classbook. As homework, you are going to do 68, 69, 70, 71, only the exercises between brackets from the activity book. We are going to do from the cuadernillo, yes, reading number four on page 108, uh, pages 36 and 38, yes, okay. Um, well, and then we have composition number seven from the list, okay, remember, in PDF, okay. Well, shall we start? I will sit down because first of all we are going to check the pages and then we are going to introduce the new um, unit. We are going to talk about the pictures as always. Yes, I have very nice pictures. Uh, we have many things to talk about shopping. Yes, I would like you to be here. Yes, because uh, there, there was uh, a very um, there were very good units. Yes. Um, well, I miss that, yes, doing the talking part with you, with students. I think we are going to return soon, yes? Let's believe. Okay, well, so let's go to page uh, 10, yes? First of all, I'm going to check the reading. That is the only one, 104, okay? Well, these are very nice readings, yes? Oh, don't skip the readings because readings are very important for you to increase your vocabulary, your knowledge, more knowledge, more vocabulary, uh, to train yourself with the different skills, yeah, with the different exercises on this skill. Okay? Well, A, <coughs> D, B, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, it, I was right. Future Dreams, D. I will start with A. Songs in my blood, A. Uh, B, D, D, A, and C, B. A, false, B, false, C, true, D, false, E, true, F, false, uh, G, false, H, false. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Well, and then there was a writing there, but I put this part because we need to talk, you need to talk about there, um, these two uh, headings on what you think learning about learning English. Yes, you have to uh, put five things, uh, important things, yes, about learning English. What you like about learning English and what you don't like about learning English. Okay, what you like, having... Um, Increasing your knowledge, maybe. What you like, playing games in the class. What you like, uh, the teacher. Yes, okay. What you don't like, doing homework, maybe. Doing uh, revisions, doing uh, a lot of tests. Yes, okay. So that was for talking about the things you like and the things you don't like about learning a language. Yes. Shall we go to uh, page 10? Page 10, we are checking the quadrilateral. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. From 10 to 14. Okay? Page 10. B1, C1, D2, E1, F2, G2, H1. Exercise 2. Has. I'm living. D. Are you doing? E. You are being. F, I'm driving. G, are we eating? H, tastes. 
tastes. Yes, okay? Tastes. Okay, are you doing? I don't understand. Page 11. 3B. Are you going um, with us? C. Do you ever? Do you wear? D. Think. E. Doesn't uh, usually sit. F. Are you looking at? G. Does this bus stop? H. I'm not um, taking. Is giving me a lift. Yes. Exercise 4. 2. G. 3. B. 4. E. 5. F. 6. H. 7. D. 8. Um, C. Exercise 5. Number two, B. 8. Do you know? Are you seeing? Staring? Do you speak? Is staying? G. You are pulling? Putting. Putting on weight. Do they speak? At, uh, page um, 12. And 13. Okay. Number one. I'm trying. Number three. Sorry, number two, I'm trying, number three doesn't play, number four, I'm learning, number five, don't buy, number six, has, number seven, isn't working, number eight, plays, number nine, are becoming, number ten, is doing, eleven, don't think, twelve, I'm not listening, two, I'm writing, we are being, Is shining. We are not um, we are not doing number five don't like number six are friendly number seven he comes from London number eight are sleeping number nine is swimming Present simple, present continuous. Often go, I'm sitting. Five, I'm thinking, I'm drinking. Six, is shining. Seven, do you have? Eight, takes. Nine, says, doesn't want. Twelve, eleven, I'm getting. Twelve, have. Thirteen, do you think? Doesn't worry, 15, doesn't have, uh, 16, don't usually eat, 17, does, do you think, 18, and 19, are you working? Yes, okay, 12, 13. Questions in present simple and present continuous. What are you doing? Why are you recording? What do you think? Are you enjoying? Do Car does Carlos speak? Which instrument can you play? Or do you play? Perdón. Yes, okay. Number three, from the other side, exercise two. Yes, que tenemos. From one, from two to twelve. He has gone, present perfect or past simple. Haven't um, woken up, went, told, have already forgotten, left, has gone, be careful with the third column, with the past participle verbs. Seven, has lived. Eight, have you driven? Did you like? Haven't seen. Eight, haven't eaten. Haven't eaten. Have already gone. We, are, we have already gone. We have already done, sorry. We didn't do. Number eight, does Sylvia play an instrument? Does she like English? What are they doing? In Argentina, how often do, we, do you play in public? Twelve, um, do you write all your thongs, songs yourself? Okay, and that is soul. Yes, okay, bye-bye, cuadernillo. Okay, so let's go to... Um, 
105, page 105, from 105 to 109. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yeah, so we are going to start. Okay, we can start. Okay, I, will pre I am preparing the listening. Yes, you put the date while I am preparing the listening. Track 70. Okay, well, so uh, this is a galleria, yes, okay, a galleria, Vittorio Emanuele, and it is in Milan, Italy. Oh my God, yes, okay. Louis Vuitton, what, is my, what, what else do we have? Prada, oh my God, yes, okay. Well, very known brands, okay? So, what you are going to do now, yes, is to, to describe the picture and compare this place with, with the places you usually go shopping. Well, okay, no comparison here, yes? Because in Formosa, of course, we don't have a shopping, Yes, and we don't have a shopping like this, but if you have ever traveled abroad, even if you go very near here in Asuncion, we have many uh, shoppings there and very nice shoppings. Yes, okay, very beautiful shoppings. We have the shopping galleria that is amazing. It has a lot of, a lot of spaces for sitting, green plants, yes, a, a lot of green parts, and this is what I like from there. Yes, so um well uh are you ready we are going to listen to a market researcher interviewer some people who are shopping and you have to complete this term interview the table interview what what who for okay are you ready yes okay there we are unit nine opener one no, number two hi do you mind if I ask you some quick questions about your shopping today? Not at all, no. Lovely. Well, first, can I ask what you bought? Oh yes, I've bought the latest iPhone. Is it for you? No, for my mum. For Mother's Day next Sunday. She's really into gadgets and technology. Two. Hello, you look happy. Have you bought something nice? Um. I've got a couple of nice shirts in the sale, actually. That's all I came in for. And who did you buy them for? Just for myself. I buy all my clothes in the sales. OK. Three. Hi, have you got time to answer a quick question or two? Yes, I think so. We need a break. Have you been spending a lot of money? No, that's the problem. We're looking for some nice jewellery, earrings or a gold chain maybe, but we can't find anything we like. And who is it for? It's just for ourselves. We usually buy each other something special for our anniversary every year. It's a little tradition we have. Well, good luck. Okay. So, uh, if you want to listen again, you must rewind your video and listen again. Yes, I will go to the answers, okay? So, number one, a knife for his mom for Mother's Day, yes, okay? Number two, nice shirts, and number three, nice jewelry, earrings uh, or a gold chain, yes, okay? But, coming back to exercise one, the shopping um, photograph, okay, if we have to compare the places we are used to buying, yes, in the places we are used to buying here, well, that is uh, bigger, yes, that is bigger, of course, is uh, more uh, luxurious, uh, it is more exotic, yes, because it looks very nice, it looks like, um, um, like a museum, yes, like, because it has art, yes, okay, it, it, it's art, Okay, maybe you can find, of course, because we see Prada there, yes, okay, designer brands and different types of shops, yes, okay, and it, of course, it is more expensive, it might be 
more expensive, okay? In exercise three, you are going to, we are going to see pictures now, but I want you to highlight, highlight the words in exercise three. You have books, DVDs, CDs, clothes, yes, okay, electronic gadgets, uh, jewelry, shoes, toilet, toiletries, toiletries, yes, okay, cosmetics, yes, and other items. So, you have to tell me, or think at home, yes, uh, what you are um, used to buying, yes, what, what do you like buying, yes? Okay, I like buying, well, shoes, books, clothes, cosmetics, toiletries. Um, I am not used to buying electronics, yes. My husband is used to uh, buying electronics. Um, I like buying jewelry, but it is expensive, yes, okay. And... Then we're going to discuss, looking at the picture, what's the best and the worst uh, present that anyone has given to you, yes? What kind of things do you and your family or friends uh, buy for each other? And do you buy things for yourself? Well, I buy things for myself. Well, I have, I have already told you that I like buying uh, cosmetics, I like buying shoes, I like buying clothes, I like buying things for my husband, I like buying things for my daughter. I like buying presents. I enjoy buying presents. Yes, okay? Uh, what do you buy? Yes, what do you buy? Do you For your family, for example. Yes, okay? I like um, buying perfumes for my sister, uh, clothes, um, jewelry, sometimes accessories. Yes, uh, I like buying uh, toilet, toilet, toiletries. Yes, toiletries. Two. Yes. Okay. Um, well, the thing is, I enjoy buying not only for me, not only for myself, but also for my family. Yes. Okay. Um, I like buying cosmetics too for my husband. Yes, the after shave. Yes, a good perfume, yes, because I like cosmetics, I like clothes, I like a person to be um, very well dressed, very well perfumed, yes, I like accessories for my daughters too, yes, okay, well, so, um, and clothes and everything, so I want you to, to uh, speak about this at home, yes, um, well, so let's go to the picture. Uh, um, Talking about the first, uh, the best and worst present anyone I have received, I have been given. Well, uh, the best present. Well, uh, well, I will have to think a bit more, yes, because uh, the worst, the worst thing, uh, somebody could uh, give me as a present is something black, yeah? Because I don't, ah, yes, I remember. I received a pair of, uh, a pair of black gloves, yes? And I don't wear, uh, I like wearing colorful clothes, yes? And I say, oh my God, yes? She, she, a woman gave me as a present, yes? And I thought she, could have given to me something in another color. Yes, okay, well. But the best present I received, I will have to think uh, a bit more. Yes, I will have to think a bit more, then I will tell you. Yes, okay. Because I have received many, received many presents, but I don't think it's the best, the best. Yes, okay. Maybe, maybe, uh, no, I will have to think a bit more, yes, because it wasn't the best, the best, the best, okay? Well, so uh, let's go to the pictures, yes? All right. There we go. Think about the best present you have received.
talking about these things, yes, because the best present were my daughters in my life. They, they are like a present for me. God gave it to me and they did. But um, yes, I would have to think a bit more. Yes, okay. Well, let's go. We have, we have many things, many things today. Yes, okay, many pictures. You can use this picture to describe, uh, to talk at home. Yes, because this is a good way that you put the pictures, stop the video and talk about the pictures. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so, do you like shopping? This is the, the first question. I want you to describe the picture. Well, at home, of course, yes, 50% off, so they are buying uh, on sales, yes. Um, they look very happy. In the background, you can see uh, uh, many shop. It, you can see, see a shop there on the right. Uh, they are in a shopping, in the shopping mall maybe. Um, they, they look very happy. And of course, they have bought a lot of things. Yes, because they have shopping bags. Yes, colorful shopping bags. Yeah, so I chose this picture because I want, you, I want to ask you one question. When you go shopping, do you like going shopping alone? with friends, with somebody you trust more than with your friends, for example, your mother, yes? Someone that uh, will, if you go shopping for clothes, for example, do you like going with friends or with somebody from the family, with an older sister, with your mom? Uh, in my case, uh, I like, when I was your age, I liked going out, uh, going shopping, sorry, with my mom, because she always tells me, uh, the truth, yes, the truth, yes, okay, okay, no, but you could choose a, another thing, yes, and it, 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 it is bad, it suits, it suits you, it doesn't suit, yes, okay, so uh, she always gave me good advice, yes, okay, I am not saying that uh, I didn't go shopping with my friends, if I wanted to buy uh, accessories and everything, yes, I went, but talking about clothes and shoes, I went with my mother, yes? And when I went, I was very sure on, uh, very secure on what I wanted, yes? Okay, I have no doubts, <coughs> sorry, in my mind. Well, so I want you to talk about you, yes? Do you like shopping alone? Do you like shopping with friends? Do you like shopping uh, with uh, somebody from your family, yes? And what do you like uh, buying? Do you like buying shoes, uh, buying uh, cosmetic, co cosmetics, yes, uh, electronics, gadgets, uh, books, yes? Okay, I love buying books for my daughters, yes? Some, most of the time I um, go to a bookshop, yes? But I, I want a book for me, for me, yes? But I end it, yeah, I end, um, uh, buying something for the girls, yes, because Aldana likes, really enjoys reading, and Ornella loves books too. She doesn't know how to read, but I buy, I buy books for her age, yes, okay? Good. Well, I want to, I want to talk about this, yes, uh, toiletries. I like buying toiletries too, yes, okay? So, if you uh, buy, where do you buy? Yes, in a small shops, yes, at markets, 
markets, yes, a department store, yes, okay. So, which are the advantages of buying in small shops, yes, okay. Where do you buy? Do you buy uh, in small boutiques, for example, yes. Do you buy uh, in a shopping, in a shopping mall, uh, yes, in small local shops, yes, okay. Do you buy in small local shops or do you buy at the shopping? Yes, okay, small local shops. Yes, okay. Do you buy on sale? Yes, do you buy on sale? I like buying on sale. Yes, and it says the 50% because I, this is what I think. I think that on sale you pay for the real Play, uh, for, for the real price of the product and during all the other months you are paying more this is what I consider yes and when they say sale I think the price that is on sale is the real the real one you have to pay during all the other months yes okay so I like buying on sales yeah on sales yes okay well uh, talking about the other thing you buy, do you uh, are you used to buying uh, in local shops, small local shops, in shopping centers, in mall? Do you buy online? Do you prefer buying online, or you like trying on the clothes? Yes. So I want you to think about it. Yes. Okay. Um, this could this could be a good way. I. I have a bought online, yes, and um, I didn't have problems. In fact, they were very, very nice uh, clothes. But sometimes I like trying on, yes, for example, jeans, trousers. Uh, I want to see, yes. I want to. I like trying on, yes. Well, small local shops, yes. Okay. Do you like buying at markets? Yes, do you like buying at markets? Yes, okay. The advantages of buying at markets, of, of course, it's less expensive. Yes, okay. Markets. But when you buy at markets, do you like buying uh, outdoor, at an outdoor? Because you, have, you can have a market, an indoor market. Yes, this is an indoor market. Yes. An outdoor market. I like outdoor markets. Yes, okay, good. Yes, do you like going to the supermarket? Hmm, depending on the supermarket, yes, but I prefer going shopping for clothes, uh, toiletries, yes, okay, and everything cosmetics, clothes, yes, yeah, shoes, books. But not the supermarket, yes, okay. So when you go, I think what's he doing? Yes, he have a basket, he's in the supermarket, and he's reading something. I think he's not texting anybody. Yes, I think he's um reading his list, the shopping list. So my question is, are you used to or your mother is is she used of or your father, are your parents used to writing a shopping list do you think it is better to write a shopping list before going to the supermarket i yes i i think yes yes you must yes write down all the things you need because if you arrive yes at the supermarket yes and oh my god you see this this and sometimes if you don't have a list this is my opinion if you don't have a list a shopping list you end buying things that you didn't need, yes? And you forgot the ones that you need, yes? Okay, good. Well, all the pictures have topics, okay? So I want you to describe the picture and talk about the picture, yes? As teacher rule does, okay? Well, and of course, do you like buying at these places, at big shopping, yes, or shopping mall? I like, because I, I can find especially cosmetics because you can sit down there when I went to Asuncion for example um, I wanted to try different perfumes and cosmetics yes and I was offered um, uh, there was um, a person who was uh, trying makeup 
Yes, okay. And, okay, do you want to sit? He will put you some makeup and everything. Okay, and I say, of course, yes, okay. And they try makeup of me and I bought the makeup and I ended, wow, oh my God, completely made up, yes, okay. Completely beautiful, yes, okay. So, you can do both things and if you go to these places, places this is the advantage that you can try see the makeup yes okay okay what can you see in this picture she look she looks stressed she doesn't look very happy she has got a lot of bags here shopping bags and i think do you think she's a shopaholic yes or do you think she's having this problem okay and what is shopaholic? Yes, a person who is addicted to shopping. Do you know, I like shopping, but I'm not a shopaholic. I know where I have to stop because sometimes, of course, you have to earn money. But um, what happened? Yes, if you can't stop. Yes, okay. And I think she's having this problem because she buys and buys and buys. And the thing is, do you buy what you really need? This is a good question, yes? Okay, and we're going to go to another picture, yes? Save money when shopping, yes? Okay, so I think the question that you must do for saving money when shopping is, do I really need this item? Yes, okay? I always need the item, but for example, when I go, what happens to me is that I see, oh, it's very, very, very cheap. I will take two. Yes, okay? And sometimes I do this. Yes, okay? So, um, what do you do for saving money? The first thing is make a list on the things you really need and make this question always. This is my advice. Do I really need to buy this? Yes, because sometimes we buy things and then we don't wear are the things we we buy we don't use the thing we buy yes okay well uh we have already talked about this uh, about shopping on sale i like shopping on sale because you can you can really uh especially when i was abroad when i lived abroad uh, the sales were real sales and when i traveled to england it was more than the sales in in spain you could find everything in the markets in the shoppings uh, in everywhere yes and the price was oh my god excellent yes okay and then we have uh, again yes uh, using internet for shopping how often do you shop online what kind of products do you find do you buy online pair of shoes uh, sport clothes clothing yes okay can you name some online shopping website okay and you you have to name yes the websites you buy yes okay uh, we buy through Mercado Libre uh, we buy we can buy shoes most now almost all the brands yes and the shops are selling their products because of the pandemic they are selling their products online so most of them have um, um, a website where you can buy Yes, again, shopping online. Yes, okay. And all the things you can buy from your home, sitting on a sofa, sitting on your desk, blah, 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 on your computer, and you don't have to go to the place and you can buy many things. Yes, okay, shoes, presents, okay, uh, things for the house, tools. Yes, okay. And, well, I was talking about buying uh, in a local shop, small local shop, and in big uh, shoppings, yes? Yeah? So small business, support community, main street, store, yes, okay? Uh, buy local, yes, buy in your neighborhood, yes, okay? And you will help those little um, boutiques. But sometimes here, for example, if you go to, I don't like buying, things here yes when I travel I try to, to buy everything because I think the uh, local shops boutiques are very expensive and then you go you travel and you see the same dress oh my god 
less, less, less uh, uh, expensive, cheaper. Yes, okay. Um, well, that was all. Yes, okay. We have already talked about everything. Yes, okay. Uh, saving money. Yes, but there was another um, picture that I had. Ah, there we are. Okay. So you have the shopping uh, cards. Yes, we have already talked. If you like shopping, uh, why, why not? What do, you can't see this, but I will read. Um, what do you buy when you go shopping? Uh, if you like buying for you, yes. How do you feel? Because this is very a very good question. How do you feel when you buy? I feel very happy, yes. But when I don't find, yes, what I was looking for, because I had an idea on the um, um, the outfit I I was imagining, it, yes, I was imagining, yes. And then I don't find what I want and I get very frustrated and angry, yes, okay? So, but the majority of, most of the time I feel happy, yes, I like going, even if I don't buy, I like going window shopping, yes? Mirar las vidrieras, mirar las vidrieras, okay? Uh, well, but there was another one, uh, this, this one, yes, okay, it's in green, before you shop. And the question I was telling you, do I really need, this is my husband question, do you really need this? Yes, okay, uh, this is good for earning money. Yes, okay, do you really need it? Yes, okay, so you have the picture there. Yes, well, how do you feel when you buy? Yes, well, she feels happy. Yes, all right. So we talked about everything. I hope you liked the picture. Yes, okay. Um, well, use the picture for talking at home. Now we're going to go straight to the exercises. Yes, okay. Do you remember how to form the passive voice? Yes, okay. So, well, you have the... Verb to be. Plus past participle. Okay, and you have to remember this, which is the verb to be in present. Am, um, are, is, plus the past participle. Participle. Present continuous. Am, um, are, is, plus being, plus past participle. Okay. Present perfect, have or has, plus been, plus past participle. Past, was, were, past, past participle. Yes, okay. Will, will be, past, past participle. Going to future. Um, are is plus going to be plus past participle okay so you have am um, are is am um, are is plus being have or has plus being past was or were plus past participle will be am um, are or is plus going to be yes okay so you have the main tenses there. And, well, you need to uh, find, yes, for example. My parents gave me a present. So you have two objects there, yes. Un objeto directo y un indirecto. A present and me. And what you need to do? First of all, you need to identify this, ten, this sentence is in past. Okay? And then you have to look for the objects. Yes, los objetos. See? ¿Sí? 
Entonces, el primero vamos a hacer el present. Está en pasado, busco pasado. Was given to me by, a veces el by no es importante, ¿eh? by my parents. Acá sí, en esta frase sí. Y después la otra, me fue dado un regalo. I was given a present by my parent. Yes, I was given a present. Even if you don't want to put the by there, it's not necessary, ¿ok? Entonces, ¿qué es lo necesario saber acá? Todo esto ya sabes cómo se arma, y es el verbo to be, más el pasado perfect. Si no te acuerdas, lo copias en el cuaderno y lo volvés a estudiar otra vez. ¿Es it clear? In this uh, class, in this unit, we are going to revise pass, uh, the passive voice, pass with pasado, present perfect, and um, present perfect, and present continuous. ¿Es it clear? Pero... Vos hace con todos los tiempos para que te quede. Por eso elegí esta frase para sacar los dos objetos. ¿Está? Yes, it's clear. And then you have uh, Christopher Columbus discovered America. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Yes, is it clear? Fue descubierta, le fue dado. Yes, me fue dado un regalo. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Yes, okay. Uh, my parents built the house, are being the house, are building the house. The house is, presente continuo, is being built, está siendo construida by my parents. Is it clear? Well, and then in the unit, you have the use of article. Yes, articles. Remember, you use a uh, EOAN, antes de las professions, for example. Yes, a dentist, a lawyer. Yes, okay. And then you use the when you want to talk about any specific thing. The people or the Chinese food. La comida. Yes, China. But then if you want to talk in general, you don't put the the at the beginning. Or with special countries, for example, the USA, the United Kingdom. Is it clear? So this is what you are going to see again on page 109. And then you have quantifiers, yes, on page 109. And I want you to write your own examples in your folder with a bit of, yes. I, I think uh, if we don't buy this, we are got this product, we are going to save a bit of money. Yes, un poco. Yes, lots of. Came back with lots of things, yes. Okay, when Ruth go shop, goes shopping, She comes home with lots of things, lots of bag, un montón de, yes, lots of, yes. You are more likely to buy lots of food, yes, okay. Uy, trajiste una banda de comida, yes, también dice, se dice en forma informal, yes, okay. Good, um, well, that's all from there, yes, okay. Um, And then, well, that's all from here because uh, there were the quantifiers, the articles, and the passive voice, okay? So revise everything, and we're going to go back to, straight to the exercises, okay? Good. Page 106, yes? So I want you to, all the words here that you, are, you, want, you have to highlight must be In the cuaderno de la A a la Z, con una frase, okay? More the ones that are um, difficult for you, the new ones. The one you know, it's not necessary. Number one, okay, how do you prefer? We have already talked about this. Shopping and the ways we can go shopping. We have already talked on the board with the projections of the pictures, yes? Okay, so shall we go to page 106? But you are going to do exercises two and three. And then in exercise four, you are going, it says, can you think of any disadvantage of each kind of shopping? Well, what you are going to do is to play again the video and um, put 
uh, the pictures, play the pictures and say uh, which kind of shopping do you like and the disadvantages of buying online, the disadvantages of buying uh, in big shoppings and the disadvantages of buying in markets, in local markets and the advantages and disadvantages of buying in markets indoor and outdoor and outdoor. Is it clear? So you have all the pictures there in this video, okay? So let's go to exercise two and three from page 106. Remember, remember, yes, um, you have to, um, you have to stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer, yeah? Okay, uh, are, you, are you used to buying packaged food? Or are you used to uh, do, uh, consuming um, homemade food? Yes. Well, think about this because think about it because uh, there you will read about packaged food too. Okay. Um, well, so let's go. Number one. Yes. Number one. Number two. Sorry. Number two. Wait a minute. Okay, well, what kind of products do they talk about? What kind of shopping do they talk about? And where do they sell their products? Yes, okay. Gilly McGregor is a farmer. Uh, he sells foods, vegetables, and supermarket stuff. Mark Noble, store manager, food household items. Two, Gilly McGregor shopping in farmers markets markets and mark noble online shopping yes there are many many people nowadays that are uh, selling their products online yes and mark noble local stores a supermarket at the supermarket exercise from page 107 from page 107 yes we are going to do exercises 6, 7 and 8. 107, 6, 7 and 8. Okay? And coming back to exercise 3 from page 106, shopping in farmer markets. The advantage. Yes? Okay? To the customer, they pay less. Yes? Okay? Uh, less price. They don't have to pay uh, a wholesale seller. Online shopping, the advantage to the customer. Their online list can be used again and again and can be changed easily. The shopping can be delivered to your home. Yes, we have already talked about that. Uh, advantage to the seller. More new accounts have been set up since they introduced the new mobile phone application because now you can buy online using different applications. So they have more advantages sellers to have more advantages too yes not only the customer but all, also the sellers yes okay shall we go to page 107 do exercises six seven and eight stop the video and then listen to the answers okay good six don't have to be packaged moral passive ah then you have the moral yes okay can be plus the third column yes should be plus the third column should have been, yes, should have been, debió haber sido, should have been stolen, should have been bought, yes, todos los verbos modales, yes, siempre, entonces tenemos la, el verbo to be, más el pasado participio, acuérdate que vos tenés que conjugar ese verbo to be, um, can be used, can be changed, are delivered, yes, this is present, are delivered, must be collected. This is a moral. Must, deben ser recogidas. Seven. Number one. Ready? The multiple choice. Is paid. Two. Are taken. Three. Have been weighed. Four. Get. Five. Are using. Six. Are reviewing. Seven. Will be contracted. Eight. Can be packed and sold. Exercise eight. One, have been sold, is worn, worn, 
Tri, es importante que te repase la tercera columna de los verbos. Ese era el pasado. Termine past participle if you don't remember them. ¿Ok? Was has been translated. Was nominated. Has been adapted. Has been viewed. Viewed. Yes. These are in present perfect. Yes. ¿Ok? Were download. Past. Past. And was bought. Past. Let's go to page 108 and 109. Yes. ¿Ok? On 108, it says number one. Have you ever bought anything on impulse? Yes. Yes. I don't remember what, but I remember yes. Yes, sometimes, uh, yes, you buy something on impulse, but then you realize that you didn't uh, use it at all. Yes, okay. So, you are going to match the beginning of the sentences from eight From 1 to 8, I'm going to exercise 2 from page 108, yes? And I want you to highlight all the words, all the words there, because you will put uh, these words with a sentence plus a sentence, yes? En el libro de la A a la Z. Of course, todos los cuadros gramaticales deben estar subrayados, ok? Highlight. Ok, so, let's go. Good, 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 good. Well, we have um, number two. One eight, yes, one eight, check out. H, yes, to pay for your shopping. 2F, special offer, yes, that is the price is lower, yes, 3G, 3, uh, 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 uh. at some supermarkets they help you, 3G, okay, to pack your purchases, yes, okay, yes, your purchase, purchases, yes, okay, 4A, 4A, fridges, washing machines and TV, and TVs are electrical goods, yes, electrical goods, yes, a television, a printer, yes, okay, 5E, you can offer, often get good deals, yes, uh, on products in the sales, yes, good, 6C, cheap and expensive items, Yes, can both be good value for money. Yes, good value for money. Yes, okay, and 7B, 7B, it isn't a good idea to buy things that you can't afford. I agree with this, yes. I never buy things, yes, that I can't afford. Yes, it's not a good idea. Yes, okay. Uh, some people say, okay, but you can use a credit card, but then you have to pay for the credit card. Yes, okay. 8D. A budget is a way of working out, yes, how much money you can spend. A budget. Yes, okay? Good. Uh, let's go to listening 4 and 5, okay? You're going to listen to this track of radio program that, uh, that discusses what's in the news. Tick the examples or impulse buying which are mentioned. Then you are going to listen to this track again. You are going to do it again, but you are going to rewind your video. And you are going to correct the errors in the four sentences, okay? And then you are going to three, think about three ways people can control their impulse. I told you one, think about, yes, this question. Do I really need it? And you will control your impulse to buy things that you don't need at all. Yes, okay. Ready? I'm not. There we are. Track 73, Unit 9B. So, Samira, have you read any interesting articles this week? Yes, I have, Dan. Several websites have articles about impulse buying. They're based on a study by the BBC. And impulse buying is? Okay, have you ever gone to the shops to buy just one or two items, like bread and milk, 
and come back with loads of things you hadn't intended to buy. Lots of things. Lots of things. This is a quantifier. Lots of. Yes, many. On done. Well, that's impulse buying. Buying things just because you see them, without really thinking about it. Oh, that sounds like me. <laughs> well, don't worry, you're not alone. We've probably all done it at one time or other. And in fact, the study says that about 5% of us have even spent more than £500 on a purchase that wasn't necessary. But sometimes you see special offers or good deals on things, especially on electrical goods like TVs or tablets. If we can save a bit of money, that's good, isn't it? If we can save a bit of money, there is another quantifier there, yes, that you have in the chart. Okay, but as it says in a couple of the articles, the fact that something is good value for money doesn't matter if you can't afford it. Mm -hmm. You should always have a... It doesn't matter if it is good, uh, good uh, like it says there, yes, okay? Uh, value for money, yes, okay? Good value for money. No, if you can't afford it, don't buy it, yes? Budget. Work out how much you can spend and then stick to that amount. Mm -hmm. So, you have to uh, build a budget, yes, right? All the things, yes? And you will consider, you have to work out your buy budget and stick to this budget. No, don't spend more than what you have, the amount of what you have in your budget. Anyway, there are some points in the research I thought were really interesting. The study divided people into two groups, men and women. If you're female... What do you think? Who um, buys more? A man or a woman? For me, a woman. We buy more than men, yes, okay? We buy more cosmetics, yes, because they don't buy, cos well, a lot of co cosmetics, uh, things for the hair, yes, they use shampoo uh, uh, and something for combing their hair, and that's all, yes, but we use plenty of things, yes, lots of things, lots of cosmetics. So I think we waste more money on buying than what they do. Well, and under 21, you're more likely to buy on impulse. Apparently, many women, but few men, use shopping as a way of managing their mood when they're unhappy. Hmm. Also, if you go shopping when you're hungry, you'll... Listen. Yes, uh, one uh, nutritionist told me, never go to the, uh, to the um, shopping, no, never go to the um, supermarket if you are hungry. Because if you are hungry, drink something, drink a tea, something, and then you go. Because if you go and you are hungry, you will buy things that you don't really need. And you will get fat and fat. More likely to buy loads of food. Loads oh, of food. that explains why I spend too much money at the supermarket. So I just need to make sure I have a snack before I go. Yes, that and make a list. Actually, there are plenty of simple things you can do to avoid impulse buying. You just need to take a little time to plan your shopping and you'll save money. Okay, stick to your budget. Yes, make a shopping list. Um, don't uh, eat something before you go, a kind of snack, drink some tea. Yes, and stick to your budget. Yes, okay, and in this way you will save money. Yes, okay, you will do exercise five, you will listen again. Yes, and I'm going to dictate you the answers. One, exercise four, one, two, and four. And exercise five, yes, one has read, not written. Two, five percent of us, not most. You often see, not never. Four, correct. Five, ma uh, managing their mood, not money. And six is correct, yes. So I want you to do exercises from uh, page 109, exercises 8 and 11, yes? Stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer. 8, 1A, 2, 0 article, 
three zero article, four A five zero article and six zero article the seven zero article the zero article seven zero article zero article zero article. Is it clear? Good. Exercise eleven. One plenty of a lot of lots of or lots of and lots of two a couple of two several a few a lot of lots of lots of three any four a little some a bit of a lot of lots of lots of plenty of five some a piece of six lots of yes a lot of lots of plenty of a bit of some yes and that is all yes for today yes okay remember to do pages from the activity book reading number four from the Polynesia on pages 36 and 37 36 and 38 and the composition seven from the list of the Polynesia bye bye happy weekend and see you next class bye bye